Warning, all of our videos are made only for educational purposes and to demonstrate scientific laws that we verify. These experiments must be supervised and we are not responsible for an incorrect execution of an experiment done by others. We do not encourage in any way that you misuse our experiments to do violent things and harm others. Hello everyone, welcome back to Chemist Badesti. Today we will see uh, a video in which we will synthesize uh, co uh, copper hydroxide from some substance that we will explain you now. The procedure for the current experiment uh, consists uh, in, uh, three, uh, in three substances. Uh, the first one is uh, copper sulfate, uh, which you can uh, generally find uh, in the plant growing shops. Uh, and uh, it is uh, generally used as a fertilizer. Uh, we need uh, 25 grams of it uh, and we are going to prepare a solution of 250 milliliters. Uh, then uh, we are going uh, to add some ammonia. Uh, which uh, you can uh, generally find uh, concentrated at uh, 10% uh, but it could be also lower so you have to read the label uh, ammonia is generally used uh, for cleaning the uh, floors uh, so you can easily find it in a supermarket uh, we are going uh, to use uh, 150 milliliters uh, no, 75 milliliters of ammonia uh, which is uh, of 10% uh, if yours is slower then use more uh, uh, and at last uh, we are going uh, to uh, use uh, uh, sodium hydroxide uh, which uh, is uh, generally uh, used uh, as a pH uh, higher, higher. Uh, so uh, you can easily find it uh, almost uh, everywhere uh, we are going to prepare a solution uh, of it uh, which is consists of 8 grams of sodium hydroxide uh, and we are going uh, to add 100 milliliters of water So, let's see the chemistry part of this experiment. In fact, what is important in, the, in this reaction is that uh, copper hydroxide is insoluble in water. So, we can take it um, as a precipitate and we can uh, get it uh, in a pure form since uh, our uh, other products uh, are soluble in water and so they uh, don't, don't form in a precipitate form. So, uh, in the reaction, uh, we make copper sulfate react with uh, ammonia and this reaction uh, leads to the product of um, co uh, copper hydroxide. Uh, even though we uh, produce this uh, uh, copper hydroxide, uh, when ammonia uh, reacts again with uh, copper hydroxide, another ion complex is formed and uh, this is not good for our reaction. In fact, uh, what we do next is to make this um, complex react with sodium hydroxide and this sodium hydroxide breaks uh, uh, this complex bond and so we are able to get our uh, copper hydroxide as the precipitate of our reaction.
Brother, sister, can you hear that? Our heartbeat cut into the ether. Star drifters, can you feel that? One love can make us all believers. A generation of renegades, we don't have to stay alone. So brother, sister, can you see our light? And uh, as always, we want to, to know something about the precautions of the, this video. In fact, uh, we have to say uh, that um, uh, sodium hydroxide is really dangerous, in particular uh, its solutions, so you must not absolutely touch uh, these, its solutions, because they are extremely uh, corrosive. Uh, besides, you must not uh, inhalate uh, ammonia, and uh, finally, you, you should avoid the contact with uh, uh, copper sulfate and uh, uh, as sodium hydroxide is social. So, if you like this video, please let us know in the comments. Uh, and if you want to see more amazing experiments like this, uh, go visit our channel and also don't forget to subscribe to it. Uh, so, for today's all, thanks for watching.